If you want to get uh, either a digital copy or a hard copy, a free copy, introductory of the latest issue of the International Forecaster, you can simply call 800-686-2237, Midas Resources, the sister company of this network. Excellent information, 800-686-2237. And uh, it's such a mind control game. We're going to go five minutes in overdrive with both our guests, bare minimum. It's such a mind control game to sit there and go, oh, look, gold went down the last two weeks. And they use people's short attention span. It went down a little bit. You put the 10-year graph, 11-year graph, it's going straight up with little blips down like steps going up. I mean, it's just ridiculous. It, it, it barely goes down and then goes up. It, it's manipulation. I mean, I only promote what I believe in, and I believe silver and gold's only going up because of global devaluation. We're going to go back to Lindsey Williams, but I wanted to throw out there, he's made several DVDs and two new audio CDs, breaking down all these predictions. They've got the old DVDs that are just as important because it's the same info now. And I'd say what Mr. Fromm and the other oil exec told him are about 97% accurate. And it's really been stunning. 800-686-2237 if you want to call and uh, get a free international forecaster. Uh, and uh, you can go to uh, prophecyclub.com uh, to check out all the Lindsey Williams uh, information or 888-799-6111. And I'll give that out again before he leaves us. Um, look, Lindsey, looking at this... Well, I want to have Bob basically ask the question. Bob, do you think there's a lot of validity? I mean, obviously, most of this stuff's come true, that we could see $150 a barrel oil. And what would that do to our economy if that happened and went for a long, sustained time? Well, first of all, uh, we're seeing the genesis of it right now. And, and you know, Suez was half burning. Uh, the military there have been shooting people for three days. And Cairo is, is wild, but it's nothing like Suez. And so maybe this is the event that will start to bring oil prices higher. But it looks maybe, organic. Maybe it looks organic. Will be in chaos for weeks. Uh, absolutely. And, and, and I am reading here violence escalates in Egypt as protesters torch ruling party headquarters in Cairo. It says they've routed the police and are burning buildings all over Suez. Uh, and I remember four months ago, three months ago, a month ago, Lindsay saying, watch the Middle East. It's going to blow up. It, it, watch the Suez Canal. Did your sources tell you anything else when they said Suez Canal, Lindsay? Yes, they very definitely said there was going to be a crisis in the Middle East. They were very firm about the fact that they wanted a crisis in the Middle East. They said that the price of gasoline at the gas pump was going to 4 to $5 a gallon. I'm warning you. Folks, I plead with you, gold and silver prices are only going to go in one direction. They said if it's, worth, if it's written on a piece of paper, it's worth the paper it's written on. They said our currency is gold and silver. It's the only thing you can maintain your purchasing power with. And, folks, even though you've seen a little back set in gold and silver prices recently, it doesn't mean one thing. The price is going back up drastically. You have not even seen the beginning of the Well, it shot up by $40 today and silver by a dollar. Uh, we're going to go to break, come back, and pretty much give you, you most the floor with a few comments from Bob, who we appreciate joining us the next five minutes. But, Bob, where do you see gold going? Well, endlessly higher. And uh, nobody knows how far. It could be six, seven, eight, nine, ten thousand dollars $10,000, but... Uh, I think a shot for this year for 2000 or 2400 is a good one. Uh, we're looking at gold up $20 right now. We're looking at oil up 370 which bears out what Lindsay's talking about. I mean, this turmoil could go on for weeks or months. I mean, there could be a civil war in the country. Uh, would the canal be shut down? Maybe. If it is, what Lindsay has had to say about 147 150 oil, that's doable. That's right. Yeah, Ted earlier said it had shot up almost 40, but it shot up 30 and has down, dropped down to 22 up. Uh, we'll be right back in 60 seconds. Stay with us. Transmission will continue. We're into overdrive right now. Uh, up on the Drudge Report, they have a live feed from Al Jazeera. We're going to add that to Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. And throughout the weekend, we'll have continued updates and coverage. We're doing some upgrades to the site and other things this weekend anyway, so we're going to be a lot of us here over the weekend. 
wonderful crew. Couldn't do it without them and you, the listeners, your support. Bob Chapman joins us every Friday. Lindsey Williams, I'll definitely have you back up if you can do it next week for a full hour to take calls. People want to talk to you. Uh, but uh, Bob Chapman, you were just, and I want to get Lindsey's take on this, you were just talking about revolution or, or insurrection in this country. Uh, why do you say that? Well, I think that as we had this deterioration, uh, let's say that uh, uh, gasoline goes to 450 a gallon. Um, the bill for the United States uh, at 450 a gallon, uh, or we'll project $120 oil would do that. Uh, you're looking at uh, something on the order of $250 billion in increased costs that will have to be devoted to paying for the oil as well as the increased prices for food. And then, you know, oil may be shut off from time to time as well. And so the cost of doing things is going to go up. You get to over 22% unemployment. I hate to interrupt you. We're watching live streams from Al Jazeera, linking it up on Infowars.com, PrisonPlanet.com, and betting it right now. Al Jazeera, there are tanks running around. Uh, they just cut from the live stream. People being shot. Uh, I mean, this is total bedlam, and the military has been able in 77 and before that to put down insurrections. Do you think they're going to be successful this time, or will they join the people, Bob? I don't know about joining the people, but I don't think they're going to be successful. All right, let's... I, I think the, the people have had it, and they're, they're going to go for it. they got them outnumbered 100 to 1. Uh, Lindsey Williams, what's your take on what Bob was just saying about... Uh, and the media can tell us the economy is great here, but all the statistics show we're going into a depression. Increased oil prices, when they had them a few years ago, a lot of people couldn't go to work who were on fixed incomes. I mean, uh, what's the elite's take that you talk to on, on insurrection in the U.S.? The elite positively made it plain to me, and I said it on your program four months ago, that what you're seeing in front of your eyes right now, what you just reported a moment ago, was going to take place within four to five months, and it's happening almost to the day. What's going to happen in the United States of America? Well, let me tell you what's going to happen. It's very plain to see. Suppose the grocery store shelves are full, but the dollar has collapsed to the point that people are going hungry. Now, Alex, common sense tells you what the, what the mindset of the people... You know, I'm 75 years of age, but... When I was a boy, you wouldn't have had people looting grocery stores. Uh, you wouldn't have had mass bedlam in this country where you had to get your firearms out. Today, with the mindset of the average young person, Lord have mercy on us uh, when this does happen and people can't, are going hungry out there. Uh, I think it stands to reason what's going to take place. Just common sense would tell you the elite have not said to me that there was going to be rioting in the streets in America. But they told me everything that was going to take place before Mr. Fromm died. He told me everything that they were going to do and the results of what they said they were going to do <laughs> is chaos and bedlam, uh, Alex. Well, now is the time to get the word out, as Ron Paul has said, that the bankers have engineered this. Don't let them use the crisis to get even more power, as Bob said in the, earlier in the hour, to establish uh, world government. Uh, and, gentlemen, I want to thank you both for joining us. I look forward to talking to you both uh, for a full hour each uh, next week. And, uh, in fact, we'll probably put Lindsay and Bob. Well, Bob, we know will be back next Friday, but we're going to get put Lindsay on hold and set him up. Uh, Alex, may I urge your people, all of your listeners, please hear the voices of the elite. I have never done this before until after Mr. Brom died. You actually hear the voices of the elite themselves. Absolutely. You've got that uh, there at theprophecyclub.com, but we're just out of time. Uh, Lindsay, we'll talk to you again soon. And uh, Bob Chapman, we'll talk to you again soon. Bob, thanks for joining us. Okay, bye-bye. All right, take care. There goes Bob Chapman uh, and Lindsey Williams. We'll talk to Lindsey right here as we go into break. Cover a lot of key information coming up straight ahead in the retransmission at Infowars.com on your local AM and FM stations.